My name is Shante J. Edwards, and I'm the creator and founder of the movement around being dope. Yes, dreaming of possibilities every day. Hashtag I am dope's movement is about you because you matter and you are enough. I use techniques that range from positive reinforcement strategies to transformational coaching and ultimately workshops that, focusing, that focuses on you. Creating the narrative that you want the world to experience because you are enough. You are enough. Three words with such a powerful meaning. Let's try something. I want you to find someone near you, and I want you to say, you are enough. Go ahead. OK, great. Give them a high five. Now, find someone else and tell them you are enough. Great. Give them a high five. OK. I'm loving it. Now, I want you to close your eyes and place your right hand over your heart and say, I am enough. Of course you are. Now, I want you to point to me and say, you are enough. <laughs> oh, I thank you. <laughs> what does it mean to be enough? According to dictionary.com, enough is an adjective adverb, pronoun, and interjection. The enough I refer to is you as a person, a human, a contributor to this world, you. However, there's a challenge. Most people allow society to determine enough for them. How many of you remember being 10, 14, or 18? Yeah? Well, these ages were crucial points for me. 10, most children are close to puberty. 14, most teenagers have entered their first year of high school. And by 18, young adults are in their senior year of high school planning for life after or not. Now rock with me. Rewind back into time to one of those ages, or an age, where you felt like you were not enough, where you weren't smart enough, athletic enough, strong enough, <laughs> funny enough, or even thin enough. A moment where you place the word Enough after an adjective. And then you had a song playing in your head. It was a song of negativity. The beats, the lyrics. What was the song playing in your head? Is there a dance move to it? Now, this song can come from an experience or a person. There's something that happens when the enough switch is turned on. You see, when we add the good in front of it, we do it as comfort to either soften or harden the impact. Think about it. Soften it by saying, I'm not good enough yet. Using yet as a crutch. Harden it by saying, I'm not good enough yet, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it happen. Using it to empower yourself. But then again, you still have a sense of inadequacy. Saying, you're not good enough. I know this well through traumatic experiences. Ranging from emotional, sexual, 
bullying, neglect, community, and domestic violence. These were things that happened to me. Created moments where I felt I wasn't good enough. Now, I could stand here right now and tell you I am a survivor. However, that was not always the case. It started in 95. 1995 in Chicago, it was summertime. I was riding in the car with my dad, my sisters, and my cousins. Then out of nowhere, my father says to me, <laughs> you are not my child. I was 10. All I could think was, whoa, wait a minute. What do you mean? I was drenched in embarrassment, in sadness. I felt as if my heart was going to explode. And I kept thinking in my head, I'm not enough. I'm not enough. I looked at myself and I told myself at the age of 10, you are not enough. This carried over to 14. And the volume increased in my head. As I stepped into high school, confused, that's when the bullying began. Because those 10-year-old stories, that 10-year-old self, she entered high school too. By 18, I was valedictorian, balancing a job, trying to graduate, a mother with breast cancer, while being the oldest of seven. That song I was talking about, it was still playing. I didn't have anyone to talk to. I couldn't burden my moms with my moments of negativity playing in my head. See, I had to put my best foot forward to be enough. See, I felt alone. I was existing and not living, not realizing that this idea of imperfection was not heard of because others felt the same thing. Now, when you replay that song for you, your experience does not have to compare to mine because it's yours. Whether it was a moment in time or over time, whether it was a relationship to the word enough, it's how you allowed it to dictate your life. But see, there's a way to dance with that word, changing the song, pushing past the obstacles and seeing them as opportunities, looking at what makes you unique and why you matter. However, I realized this is not simple for everyone. In my 16 years of working as a social change advocate and leadership coach, I've seen so many youth and young adults conclude that they are not enough. The reality for them is they don't know what their enough means because they're looking at these images on a reality TV show. You know what I'm talking about or trying to have enough commas in their bank account, you know what I'm talking about, or even being the most popular person. However, this is not just young people and young adults. Think about it. As a human, there was a moment when you felt you were not enough, either for a person, a job, an opportunity, something it caused you to beat yourself down and rock a one-piece jumpsuit of criticism, masking yourself from the world, denying the fact that we are all human and it is okay. Saying, I am not enough. But what if we could do something about that? Shifting the conversation from the image of not feeling that you are enough to being able to own the power 
in any given moment. Now, there's something about saying I am enough that you have to work toward. The first step I took was forgiveness. Forgiving my past, forgiving people, my thoughts, forgiving me. Forgiveness is a tool that can be used to recenter your thinking when you feel imperfect or unbalanced. Travel with me to the kitchen of possibility. See, there's a secret sauce of comparing ourselves to our circumstances and not feeling like our best selves. It's offering a new reality. And this reality allows you to stand in your truth, owning who you are right now. You see, the question can be, what does this reality offer? Anything you desire. It's your reality. It's your enough. You are entitled to create the standards of the best version of you. Don't let no one else do it. British philosopher Alan Watts said, waking up to who you are requires letting go of who you imagine yourself to be. I take this as, if you offer a new reality, this means that you have to shed the old one. The old one is you thinking that you are not enough, because you are. The work that I do with youth and young adults focuses on them as the experts of themselves. They give me permission to coach them, and I support them with the tools and guidance to stand in their truth and not rock that one-piece jumpsuit. Standing in your truth is allowing yourself to get uncomfortable, to dance a little bit, get uneasy, and seem uncool, while facing your fears and changing this biggest critic uniform and rocking this I am not enough speech to one that you're rocking one of positivity, celebration, and excitement. A song that you're playing that ignites you. A song that offers you to dream of possibilities every day with a really cool dance move. <laughs> Imagine for a moment looking at yourself in the mirror for five minutes, <sighs> breathing, <sighs> inhaling. Exhaling, looking at your nose, your cheekbones, your eyes, your teeth, your lips, looking at your scars, looking at you. Imagine looking at the things that make you, you. Imagine that you're looking in the mirror and you start telling yourself, I am enough. Hmm. I am enough. I am enough. This idea of an affirmation that is game changing because it allows you to stand in your truth of owning who you are because you are enough and you get to love on you. You get it? Loving on who you are right now. This is the shift in the conversation of standing in your truth and owning who you are regardless of what obstacles are facing you. Your past, your failures, your experiences, yeah, they happen. They don't make you as a whole person. You have more to offer the world because you are enough. Imagine if we didn't have a measure around the word enough. Because you are dope. You know that, right? Rock with me one more time, please and thank you. 
by placing both hands on your heart. I want you to close your eyes just for one more second. And I want you to say, I am enough. Hold it there. And when you feel the enough switch turning on, remember to practice forgiveness. Allow room for failure and reintroduce yourself to you through positive affirmations. The world needs you to stand in your truth because you are enough. Thank you.